uh, we talked to Baker earlier and talked a little bit about your conversation. What was that like? And, and what was your biggest takeaway from that conversation with Baker? Just his knowledge about the game and how much he knows about. But to be quite honest, I'm more excited about, you know, ways to further conversate with him and, and learn more from him. Um, and I know he'll be around, you know, throughout the summer here and there. So um, just continuing that relationship, continue to learn from him and, and all he's, he's been through. Gary, you Hey, Dylan. Uh, because of the ceremony and what Baker was here for, I guess I'll ask, how, how important is it for you to win a Heisman Trophy here? I think for me, it's never been a goal of mine, right? I think it always comes with, you know, the the mindset of, of going to win a championship, going to be the best teammate and, and, and leading that locker room. And I think all those guys who've, you know, won that award have, have been able to just play at a very high level. You know, not necessarily for the Heisman, but just a, a high-quality person and teammate. So... Never been a goal of mine, um, but man, if it happens, it happens. You know what I mean? Ryan Chapman. Hey, Dylan, Brent's had the Pack the Palace campaign running to, to get the, the, that atmosphere here today. When you guys stepped on the field for you, what was that like going 75K for the spring game? How, was there a moment for you to take your breath and go, okay, this is real now? For sure. You know what? I was notified that it would be, you know, the lower bowl and that would be packed. And, you know, I was going to be surprised for that. But the moment I saw them open up the top and, you know, that that whole stadium be packed, just like, you know, a, a game day, um, man, it's just it's just a great feeling um, to know Sooner Nation's got our back. And, you know, like everyone says, there's only one Oklahoma. Is that technically the largest crowd, crowd you've played in front of? Probably, probably. Justin Martinez. Dylan, appreciate your time. Uh, late in that first quarter, you had that interception on the very next drive, bounce back and get that touchdown to Marvin Mims. Just cool. how big was that? Um, I know confidence is an issue for you, but still, just how big was that to kind of get momentum going and get back on the right track? Yeah, I think uh, just the whole experience of playing for both teams, man, it, it's um, it was different for me, but it, it was a great experience. And I think, um, yeah, just bouncing back from a turnover and, and learning from it is the biggest thing. Um, things will happen throughout a game, but learning from them is the, is the key thing. Um, so, yeah, just just a big learning thing, and any way we can bounce back is, is really good. But not gonna, this isn't really joking uh, about the win uh, because it's Oklahoma. Yep. It's not always like that. Yep. But do you think that, that you will need to work a lot uh, in the wind and in, in throwing? I think it, it was something I was very you know aware of once I got here. The first time we threw outside, um, the win is 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 different, but you know it's not an excuse. Something you got to just continue to learn and, and grow from, and you know find different ways to make it happen. So, um, believe it or not, we've had some other days where the the win was a lot worse. Eric Bailey, Dylan, I wanted to ask you just about the quarterback room itself. How much did you see those younger quarterbacks grow? from practice one to practice 15 and what do you need to, what do they need to continue to do during this summer period to get better I think it's just learning every single day to to, to take a step forward um, there'll, there'll continue to be adversity and, and things you got to learn from and there's a bunch of things we can clean up I mean I think it'll forever be that but um, learning from those and not making the same mistake but you know overall throughout the whole spring and I, I know we you know, a lot of us were only able to see that one game. I think through the spring, just the amount of growth they made, and even from winter, you know, I, I've said this before, it's just there's a ton of growth. And we, we need to make sure this, this summer's our best summer and find ways to, to continue taking steps forward. James Hale. Hey, Dylan, just how good of an offensive day was it for you today? Because you were running with both teams yep. in the first half, and that was unique for us. We've never seen sure. that either. Was, I'm sure it's unique for you too, maybe. But how good of an offensive day was it for you? I think um, there's a lot to clean up. You know, there's a lot of things I, I wish I did differently and, and cleaned up. But what I think is, you know, the good part of it is there's just a lot of learning um, experiences from that, you know, situational football that, you know, we can learn from in, in two minute, third downs, whatever you know, the case may be. So um, I, I look forward to watching it and, you know, just diving deeper into it and just learning from it. John Hoover. Bill, when you mentioned the, the, the crowd, 74,000, 
there were 200 some alumni here as well uh, some future Hall of Famers you know some millionaires you know what I mean some first round draft picks so, uh, what does that mean to you to come back or to come to this place and look around the sideline and see all pros out there back at their alma mater I think it just shows how much love they have for this university and, and you know their experience here um, they're all greats but you know, regardless of that, every guy comes back. You know, not just the guys who are in the NFL and have done, you know, obviously some great things, but even those guys who've, who've played here and, you know, didn't make it to the NFL or, or whatever the case may be, man, they really love this university and all it's done for them. Um, so they all come back, and it's a great feeling to know how much they love this place and, you know, the experience we'll have. Any more questions for Dylan? Kerry? Dylan, um... We don't usually see quarterbacks take that many reps in a spring game. Um, was that something that you approached Coach Levy about that you wanted to do, or was that just a plan you guys came up with together? I think it was a plan on the fly and, and also a plan to, you know, kind of figure out, you know, how however it worked. But, you know, it was a different experience for me, but, you know, something I'll, I'll definitely grow from. And at times I felt conflicted, you know, going on one side, going to the other, whatever it was. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And um, just playing in front of the, in front of Sooner Nation, man, it's, it's a blessing. Also, I mean, first play of the game, you go for the bomb for, for Marvin. Does that kind of signify a statement that you two wanted to make about the way maybe the spring's going for you? For sure, just just being aggressive and, and continue to be. But, um, yeah, just trying to be aggressive every single time. Yeah, uh, Dylan, you've been here four months or so. What do you know about Oklahoma, the program, the place, everything that you didn't know when you got here? I'd say the man makes the brand. And there's a lot of great people here, a lot of great human beings, you know, whether it's the players in the locker room, the coaches, the support staff. Man, all the way to equipment and, tra and the training room, man. They just truly care about this university. And I think, you know, the people in the building, um, and likewise, you see Sooner Nation, 75,000. I mean, people care about this place. And, and something I've realized is this is special. You know, I've played football a lot and been around football all my life, but this is something that can't be replicated. Last one, Brandon Drum. Marvin was talking about you were going both both sides and playing for both teams. The, the timing of everything with the routes and stuff like that. He talked about with different receivers, it was it was a little bit different for him as far as the timing and everything with you all. From his perspective, but from the quarterback perspective, can you kind of break that down and how that's for sure. different for you as well? No, just a little different. I think um, anytime you mix and match a team, there's a bunch of you know mix and matches that haven't been made um but i think the cool thing about that is just being able to to play with each and every guy you know learn everyone differently and going into summer i think there's just there's some growth there and continue to learn each other um but anytime there's some new bodies it's, there's a, a little time for adjustment thank you guys